Your Honor, there's been an emergency change to the docket today. A change? What could be more important than these Tennessee water rights? This has been going on for six years. Your Honor, it is the health and the welfare of the children of this community that brings me here today. When I call your name, please approach the bench. Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Benjamin Franklin, please step forward. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Hold on, are these defendants represented by counsel? I will be representing us, Your Honor. And you are? Thomas Jefferson, attorney of law. <laughs> are you not also a defendant? I am. What's going on here, Bailey? Your Honor, these are members of the 1776 players who at the time of arrest were reenacting the signing of the Declaration of Independence at George Washington Junior High Auditorium, and they are charged with a, a most flagrant attempt to conceal one's gender with deceptive garb to which I have ever bared witness. <laughs> <laughs> and they did it in our children's classrooms, Your Honor. John Adams, you're also an attorney? Uh, yes, Your Honor. That's um, Adams with two D's. I I'm a patent attorney. Uh, and an actor. <laughs> <laughs> ben Franklin, are you a lawyer too? Oh, uh, no, no, Your Honor. Actually, uh, my, my name is uh, Francis Benjamin, and I go by Frankie. And no, I'm a plumber. And, uh, and also a bit of a writer, a humorist, if you will. <laughs> a jack of all trades, actually. What's the actual criminal complaint here? Your Honor, they have blatantly violated the recent amendment to Tennessee Code, Chapter 7, Title 51, Paragraph 14, relative to adult-oriented performances which cannot take place within 1,000 feet of our public schools. What? They are dressed in drag, Your Honor! Oh. But just look at their wigs and their makeup and their stockings. Not to mention the crime of fashion they have committed by wearing white stockings with black shoes. <laughs> Your Honor, we're wearing historically accurate attire worn by the Founding Fathers when they signed the Declaration of Independence. No objection, Your Honor! The defendants were not alive Whenever that signing took place, therefore it is impossible to ascertain such a claim. Our costumes are fashioned directly from what is depicted in the history books. Books? Why, I thought we burned those last year. <laughs> oh my God. Now, this case is dismissed. Thank you, Your, Thank Your Honor. Honor. Thank you. Okay, Bear, what's our next case? Your Honor, we have yet another blatant violation of the recent amendment to Tennessee Code, Title 7, Chapter 59, Paragraph 14, with men oh. <laughs> wearing skirts in our public parks, no less, prancing around like they was Catholic schoolgirls. Bailiff, can you bring these offenders forward? Will the athletes of the Scottish Highland Games please approach the bench? Uh, good. <laughs> oh, this case is dismissed. Yeah. Your Honor, we have yet another blatant violation of the recent amendment to Tennessee Code. Of course we do. Of course we do. Bailiff, could you please bring the defendant forward? Will Jesus Christ please approach the bench? Jesus Christ. Jesus H. Christ! You do know that's not my middle initial, right? <laughs> right. My apologies, Mr. Christ. <laughs> Case dismissed! <laughs> I am appalled to discover that we have yet another violation of the recent amendment to Tennessee Code. Title 7, Chapter 51, Paragraph 14, right here in these hallowed halls of justice. <clears throat> You're talking about me? <laughs> Why, just look at you, covering up your masculinity under that flowing black gown of yours. <laughs> 
why you should be appalled. You should wear your masculinity proud. And out in the open, where we can fall. Get the fuck out of my corner! <laughs> <laughs>